Jujutsu Kaisen has swiftly ascended as a titan in the anime landscape, captivating audiences with its dark fantasy themes, intense battles, and a cast of compelling characters. Integral to this allure is its artful use of motifs and symbols that weave deeper layers of meaning into the narrative tapestry. Among these, a particularly striking motif emerges in the opening credits of the first season, a mysterious black and white fish. This seemingly simple aquatic creature glides through the opening scenes, holding within its sinuous form a potential reservoir of symbolism and thematic significance. As we delve into the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, this video aims to unravel the enigma of this black and white fish, exploring its potential connections to key characters and the broader thematic undercurrents of the series. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. Jujutsu Kaisen, based on the manga by Gega Akutami, has emerged as a standout in the shonen genre. The series plunges viewers into a world where cursed spirits feed on negative human emotions, and jujutsu sorcerers fight to protect society from these malevolent forces. Central to its appeal is not just its high-octane action and intricate world-building, but also its layered storytelling, where symbolism and motifs play a crucial role in adding depth and intrigue. The opening credits of an anime are not just a prelude to the episodes. They are a canvas where the essence of the story is often artistically encapsulated. In Jujutsu Kaisen, the openings are particularly noteworthy for their dynamic animation, compelling music, and importantly, the subtle insertion of motifs that hint at the underlying themes and character arcs. These opening sequences are crafted to not only hook the viewer, but also to subtly foreshadow events and character developments. For the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen, the opening credits are a blend of action-packed sequences and more introspective moments, reflecting the dual nature of the show's narrative, one that intertwines high-stakes battles with personal struggles and moral dilemmas. Among the various symbols and imagery that flit across these opening scenes, the black and white fish stands out. Its recurring appearance, albeit brief, catches the eye, prompting questions about its significance. Within the visually stunning tapestry of Jujutsu Kaisen's opening credits, the recurring motif of a black and white fish emerges as a subtle yet intriguing element. This motif, appearing fleetingly yet with enough recurrence to demand attention, invites speculation and interpretation from viewers. The fish in question exhibits a stark contrast in its pigmentation, a dichotomy of black and white. It is not depicted in a hyper-realistic manner, but rather adopts a somewhat stylized approach, blending seamlessly with the anime's overall aesthetic. The fish's movements are fluid and graceful, evoking a sense of serenity amidst the otherwise dynamic and action-packed opening sequences. This contrast in its representation, calm and serene in a sea of tumultuous action, adds to its mystique. Upon examining various species of real fish, one might find it challenging to pinpoint a direct real-world counterpart to this black and white motif. The fish's design does not seem to be modeled after any specific species, but rather appears to be a creative amalgamation inspired by various traits found in aquatic life. Its distinct coloration, however, does bring to mind certain real-life fish known for their striking black and white patterns, such as koi or certain species of tropical fish. In nature, such coloration often serves as a warning or a form of camouflage, adding an interesting layer of potential symbolism when considered in the context of the anime. 
The choice of a fish as a motif in an anime predominantly centered around sorcery and supernatural battles is intriguing. In many cultures, fish symbolize transformation and adaptability, attributes pertinent to the journey of the series' protagonists as they navigate a world rife with curses and moral complexities. The black and white coloring of the fish could symbolize the dualities and moral ambiguities present in the series, good versus evil, strength versus vulnerability, and the murky gray areas in between. Moreover, the fluidity and grace of the fish's movement might represent the flow of cursed energy in the series, a fundamental concept that underpins the abilities of the characters. Just as the fish moves effortlessly through water, the sorcerers in Jujutsu Kaisen maneuver through battles and challenges, harnessing and manipulating their cursed energy. The black and white fish motif in Jujutsu Kaisen's opening credits potentially harbors a significant connection to one of the anime's most formidable characters, Ryomen Sukuna. Known as the King of Curses, Sukuna's presence looms large over the series, embodying the pinnacle of malevolence and power within the story's supernatural hierarchy. The parallels between this ominous fish motif and Sukuna's character open up intriguing interpretive avenues. Ryomen. Sukuna, once a human sorcerer, has become a mythical figure in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. Revered and feared as a demon of unparalleled power, his malevolence is matched only by his cunning and strategic acumen. Sukuna's character is steeped in ambiguity often blurring the lines between villainy and a more complex, nuanced persona. The stark black and white pigmentation of the fish could be seen as a reflection of Sukuna's dual nature. On one hand, there is the undeniable darkness and threat he poses, mirrored in the black parts of the fish. On the other hand, the white could signify the more nuanced aspects of his character, his charisma, intelligence, and the grudging respect he commands even from his adversaries. Additionally, the potential interpretation of the fish's coloration as indicative of poison aligns closely with Sukuna's reputation as the king of deadly poisons. In the series, Sukuna is not just a physical threat. His influence and the fear he instills are akin to a toxin that permeates the world of Jujutsu sorcerers. The fish, with its serene yet potentially deadly appearance, becomes a fitting metaphor for Sukuna's ability to be both alluring and lethally dangerous. The inclusion of this motif in the opening credits, especially in scenes preceding or following Sukuna's appearance, could be an artistic decision to foreshadow his impact on the story's events. It subtly prepares the viewer for the imminent chaos and turmoil that Sukuna's presence invariably brings, while also hinting at the deeper layers of his character that might be explored as the series progresses. The black and white fish motif in Jujutsu Kaisen is a testament to the series' intricate storytelling and its use of symbolism to enhance narrative depth. While it may connect directly to characters like Sukuna and Junpei, its broader implications touch on the fundamental themes of the anime, enriching the viewing experience and inviting thoughtful reflection. If you like what I do in here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.